Hello friends, this is Kapilji. Welcome to my YouTube channel Informatica Enthusiast. Uh, guys, in our day-to-day -day work, when we are working in project, we are facing one issue that so many times the data which we are getting from the source system, it is not cleansed. And we will be having multiple uh, special characters in it. We will be having multiple non-printable characters in it. So in today's session, we will see that how we can remove those non-printable characters as well as the special characters in the data. So for your ease, I have taken one sample data as input underscore d dot txt. So in this flat file, I'll be having three columns. First one is product name, product description and product ingredients all these three columns are separated by a pipe I, I mean the delimiter which I am using is a pipe delimiter to delimit the data of this file so as you can see here we will be having these kind of special characters not special uh, non printable characters and here in this string we will be having some special characters so we will see that how we will be able to remove these special characters and how we will be able to get a clear file out of our mapping so I have already designed one man, one mapping and I'll show you what I have designed and what all are the expressions which I have kept in that mapping so that we will be having a cleansed data as output. So I have imported that file input.txt and I guess you must all be know that how we have to import a file. Say if I want to import a file then I have to go to say sources and import from file and I have imported a file. Uh, I am imported a file input underscore d dot dot txt and I have already imported that file into my source analyzer and in target designer I have also created one target and you can see that the names I have kept are p name, p description and p ingredients and in my mapping I have done the relation between my source and target so this is my source and this is my target and in, in expression I have kept three expressions for these three fields so right now in product name I will be having only non printable characters so what I am doing I am using reg replace and column name and this is the expression which we are using for removing your non printable characters so what, I'll, what, I'll, what it does it will remove all the non printable characters as, as you can see this caret symbol this caret symbol signifies that we have to remove all the characters which are not printable so not printable means these are the characters which are not understandable by your system and you have to replace by removing removing this you have to replace it by a empty space i have kept two quotes on it okay so on the other string i'll be having some special characters so i may i I use replace str. This replace str is an inbuilt function for Informatica Power Center, and I have used replace str. And in this expression, you can see that I have kept one here and then column name and all the special characters which I want to remove. And the last string is I want to remove these characters with which character. So I have kept it last character as a simple empty white space. Now this one here what is the use of this one this is a case flag and whenever we are using a replace string we have to make use of this case flag this case flag flag signifies if it is one then p disk in p description you have to keep or you can say that you have to consider the case uh, of the alphabets and if it is in a lower case then it will keep it as a it as a lower case and if it is in an upper case and it, it is key, it will keep it as it is as in a upper case so if I will be having a zero here on this place, it will ignore upper end case. It simply removes the non-printable characters from the column name. And the third expression in which we will be having special characters as well as uh, non-printable characters. So what I did, I, I used both the inbuilt functions of Informatica, reg replace and replace str. And first I have replaced the special characters with default empty space and then after replacing these special characters with empty space I have removed non printable characters with again an empty space so I have I have done this mapping it is a valid mapping and when we will run a workflow we will be having an output file on our desktop 
here which will be having a clean state right now I'll, I'm not having any file here okay as an output file so I have kept the name of output file I have kept the name of output file as output underscore d dot txt so what I'll do I'll simply run it and we will see that we will be are we able to remove these special characters or not okay let's read the status of the execution so currently it is in execution state and it got succeeded so what we will do we will go to our desktop and we will see so now we will be having a file here output underscore d dot txt let's open this file and we will see all the special characters and non-printable characters are removed with the help of expressions which we have kept in our mapping so product name is dove shampoo and the product description is shampoo for hair wash and the ingredients it is made up of milk products and fruits as we can see the file which we have used for used as a source file in this file we will be having some special characters this one so it is removed in this file in our output file thank you for watching this video thank you